Okay, on to case number two of the traffic desk. It is 1 a.m. and I have a strong cup of black coffee, so let's solve some cases. Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Hmm? I gave his wife a pass. I said, all Better go earn our pathetic wages. Damn, dude. They don't, they don't pay you well, huh? My bad. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her, he was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. That's very true. I've been there too. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Okay. Wonder what nation this car <clears throat> is from the consulate of. Argentina. Or maybe they mentioned that already. And I'm just a dunce. Alright, what do we got here? Just some kids' baseball bats? Moita weapon? A real right. A real I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Thanks for you. reminding me. Okay, first things first, let's check out the car. Then we'll get to the secondary. Yeah, I kind of like that guy's suit. owned by the Argentinian embassy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or maybe I was supposed to do something with that. No, okay, we got it. Oh, he's got to check Empty. the trunk. Right. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car hmm. ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Hmm. Odd. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Make a request to Washington for a fingerprint. I'm check. such an idiot. Hmm. Right. I don't think this is any. What use about to a us. paper cup, bruh? Yeah. This is going to help us. I know. I know. Hmm. 
booze doesn't mean shit, right? Could be literally anybody's. Yeah, okay. Uh, always check the, the waste bins, nothing. Oh, I suppose we can make a call, huh? Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Ah, the one 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 club, Vault one eleven. Oh, it is. Damn, dude, the red herrings. Okay. Let's see what the old man has to say. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Okay. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Hmm. I know it sounds prejudicial, but why would he lie about that? I think he's telling the truth. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish? Sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Bullshit. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. I'm not, but I know you fucked it. Fucked Tell with me about it. the fucked car it. they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Hmm. Well. I doubt he would lie about that. If he saw, he, he hates them. They are Mexicans. He'd want to catch them, so he's telling the truth. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Hmm. Well, that was a weird facial expression. Bullshit. Why did you take the license plate? <gasps> Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. Fuck. You should show me some respect. 
Well, thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabot about signing a formal statement. I didn't know if I didn't really mean to accuse him. When you get the car out of, of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Hmm. Yes. 1947 agenda. Juan Francisco Valdez. Oh, it's the guy's itinerary. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. A degenerate? Let's see. So he's riding a bunch of people's physical features. It's weird, almost like he's a predator of some kind. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Interesting. Yeah, we're taking that. All right, another phone call to R and I, perhaps. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. <laughs> How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan twenty four fifty eight, please? Connecting you now. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? Hmm. How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert... 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I love We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. I love the attention to detail and the visuals and everything. This game is a treat. Um, I, I, I wanna think, see. Landon. Can you drive to this one? Where would we want to uh, go first? Where are we going? We probably want to talk to the guy first, because then we might learn relevant details for the dealership. So we should go back to Central and speak with them. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I think it's more complex than that. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. Hmm. It's this way. He's a germaphobe, or maybe he's care. paranoid the police will try to frame him for some. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Did I kill him? That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Wow. <laughs> now that's an About time. You. Are you the senior officer I requested? Yes, sir. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. All right. 
Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. I mean, yeah. What would he be lying about? Yeah, I mean, I don't see what he would be lying about there, so he's telling the truth. Dewey Brothers, you think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Oh, I fucked that up. Shoot. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the Consul Garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, mm. we don't do that here, Your Worship. I... Uh, I'm gonna doubt him. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you gonna tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. Nice. All right. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to use the notebook against him, perhaps. We'll ask the community. Okay, he's a liar. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are Ooh. you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Notebook. All right, so my intuition was correct. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Wow. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. Wow. We'll be in touch, Consul General. All right, so we did fuck up the first question, but we, we salvaged it. Damn, didn't get enough experience, though. I'm disappointed. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I say we bust in there. And you know the way. You can drive. Evidence. All right. Where to? Your fucking mom's house. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. <laughs> I mean, he admitted to being a fucking weirdo. I don't know what else he's supposed to tell us. 2.22 p.m. Don't tell me, let me guess. 
you were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new Model 4 door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. Oh, for fuck's sake. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Hmm. He seems well disposed towards me. I'm inclined to trust him. For now. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? These Maybe little puzzles car. are silly. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Whatever it is that you do here. I wish police really operated like this in real life, or at least still did if they ever did. That's not right. One left. Wrong size. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Okay. Who's this? I'm just gonna pick up his pliers because it's probably nothing. Right. I just wanted to talk to the dude. That's a spark plug. Huh. Nothing significant. All right. All right. I just get get out of here. I bet a broad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Huh. Nice. Seems irrelevant. Indeed. A knife? Oh, what is this? This doesn't pertain to the case. My bad. Hmm. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay. Well, suppose we'll go talk to Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and the gooey kablooey. It's a slick outfit you got there, Holmes. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Yeah, association with the Valdez. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Bullshit. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Hmm. Well, that's not what his notebook says. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. But why lie about it? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Oh, that's bullshit. Once again, um... I guess I'll just doubt him because I don't have any specific details. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. <clears throat> A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. 
A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Garbage. So he's lying. <sighs> but like, fuck, I'm going to, I'm going to doubt him. But it doesn't feel good. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. Mm. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. Killed it. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. My Seems ass. like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Right, a bullshit. You really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. I really like my partner. He's he calls it. Let's see the new outfit. The Sword of Yastus. The Golden Boy is actually kind of nice. Our original suit, the Chicago Lightning is dope we'll leave on this one for now we might well i'll switch one with each case perhaps or maybe with each desk we'll see the suit is pretty classy i like some variety you though. drive i need to go over the case notes <laughs> do we know where we're going yeah shit for brains you read the story in the examiner about the navy developing three-dimensional movies what's a dimension you know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies using color. And look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. Should we That's speak? That's the cop in the newspaper. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, can I speak with you, hombre? Guess not. Hmm. Here he is. Apartment three. Are we pocketing his mail? <laughs> That's a weird place to put your mail. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes. I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. <laughs> broad. I... She comes off as... So how far along are you, Anna? Like she's not aware of what's going on, so Nearly perhaps that is the case. Right. 
So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You good are wrong Catholic about Gabriel. crucifix on the he wall, Virgin Mary on the wall. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very hmm. long time. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Okay. doesn't appear to be connected. I can't tell what it is. Oh, baby names. Nombre de baby. <sighs> Not much help. I don't know what that is. Lipstick or something? Pendant? Not sure this means much. Right. Can we crawl out the window? Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Hmm. So he was here recently. Out the back, huh? Take a peek. Perhaps he's hiding in the shed. No. Ah, all right, we found our culprit. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. None of this shit looks important. Got him. Diplomatic plates. Diplomatic license plates. Alright, so we've got this guy by the short and curlies. And this might, we might be able to use this evidence against his wife. Perhaps. It's time to speak to her. Really ought to take more time over the Packard Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. No. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. Why? <laughs> but Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? That sounds too simple. I'm just going to doubt because, I mean, she, that's the, too simple of a reason. I mean, I don't have anything specific, so it'll just be a doubt. Gabriel's been in trouble before. He left you here alone to answer for him, and you expect me to believe that his motive was honor? Please don't yell at me. I've done nothing wrong. Hmm. So she was telling the truth. That's strange. That's a strange motive. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Oh, okay. That's just hilariously stupid. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. Jesus. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. You don't swear when you when you're bullshit, and that's not good. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what, and I don't want to know. I love him. Oh. Kind of feel bad for her. 
We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Doubt. I mean, if if she is telling the truth, we gain nothing. So we're going to doubt because we might be able to extract information she owned. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. That's you will see your up. son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Hmm. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine on You know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. That's the cop from the newspaper. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Huh. <laughs> There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. I'm gonna find you. He's getting away. No, he ain't. Gonna lose him. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old right. I have to peel off the sidewalk. You're calling them. Out. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Step on himself. Take him out. Are you serious? Did I just lose him because he went under me? That's such bullshit. I didn't mean to kill those innocent people. Now my case rating is gonna be fucked. Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. You're gonna die, Garacho. Got you. Don't run, bro. It's Gabriel not worth Delgado, it. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car! It was over pride? What a stupid, stupid reason. You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Nice. 
well executed case there, Phelps. Because we killed that person, it's gonna fuck us, isn't it? Oh, no. Case notes. Argentinian Consul General Juan Valdez gets his Packard back almost in one piece. Huh. Interesting. Missed some clues. I'm amazed that I missed three clues. It's just like, where? You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. So they're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. going somewhere gentlemen full inspection it had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend Kelso this carbine the bore is dirty no it isn't are you arguing with me Kelso do what you need to do sergeant you know the bore is immaculate weekend liberty canceled uh, two day field oh, drill man. clean this rifle no do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Damn. All right. That was fun. Uh, quick little case. Uh, we're going to end the episode here and take on case number three in the next one. Thanks for watching.